Good morning, modern steaders. I set out the trail camera last night, so we'll see if we got any activity of any predators coming into the chicken yard yesterday. Or last night, I should say. That will be interesting. Sorry, trying not to trip on apples. <laughs> ah, nice brisk morning, 46 degrees out this morning, guys. Morning, pigs. You sleeping over there? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Morning, boys. You sleeping? Nice and chilly this morning, huh? Morning, Zeke, Caleb. You know, fall is right around the corner when your whole yard smells like apples. Everywhere we walk, I just smell apples, apples, apples. We have a new milker to try up today, guys. Looking forward to it. We got a new style teacup, latex. I got it going into our mason jar, and I have a small electric pump. down here. So let's see how this works and what Willow thinks of it. It's working good so far. pressurized and I'll let it massage the other some. Today we're going into a quart jar so it's not going to look like we have as much milk as normal. Thank you Willow. Anytime you use something new there's always a learning curve. I think that first one went really well. What do you think Willow? Ready to go see the babies and get an apple? Go for it. Go ahead. Go. Everybody's waiting outside for you. I know. They're all out here. Where's your apple? She found her apple. I think Willow really enjoys the apple juice first thing in the morning after being milked. Huh. You like the apple juice. Not sure if the trail camera went off last night or if it's even working. Kinda wonder. It's on, but I don't see no lights blinking. Oh, that's something. Went off a couple of times. I think there's something right there. I'll have to bring it in. I think I'll have to bring it in and check it out. I'll have to bring that one inside this one and see what's going on. Did you get any visitors last night, guys? That doesn't look fresh. That's from the night before. I don't see any fresh marks on this tractor. All right, we got two videos. One was 10 seconds at 7.55, so I did that this morning. Now PM, so that was last night. It went off. Must be when I locked them up. And then this one is from this morning. Nope, oh, that's another one from last night. 
All right, so nothing came in last night. It's a good thing, but be nice to find out what is coming in. I'm gonna go set the SD card back in. You look a little chilly. I made you coffee this morning though. That way it'll keep you warm. Scratchy throat. Let's see the change of the air. I had a scratchy throat this morning, so I don't know if it's pollen in the air or if it's the change of the maybe it's, seasons. It's like foggy, maybe it's like I don't know. Yeah, it is wicked foggy. Not a bad sore throat, just like a scratchy. Like it feels like it could go away or get worse. Sure. All right, so I figure we'll start on the different trim work today. I'll start with trimming out the gable ends and then the front, and then we can trim out the doorway openings too. We'll see how far we get with that today. What's the gable end? So the ends that we sided yesterday are called the gable ends. All right, let's do the doorway casing first. 105.81, 105.33, and 105.52. Uh, what do we have here? 105.34. All right, I bet you're right here. Yep, there's some of it. There's that. 107, 105, 52. What do we have here? Here we have a 105, 72. So we're gonna need that. This. 105, 33. We need all the 105 right now. So this trim work we're gonna have to make adjustments to because we changed up the doorways, yeah. but we should we'll have enough to use it. We will have enough trim work. So we're gonna need the siding gun. We're gonna go like right, so. Right, right. No, it's gonna go like this. And then the other piece is gonna come up to it like that. All right, let's figure out what this angle is and we'll get this angle set on our circular saw. All right. This should do it. Perfect. I like that. We cut one more. Not yet. Let me get everything cut first. All right. Just only put a couple in for now. Where? Like do one here and one here. Don't go nuts just in case for some reason we gotta take it apart. Alright, guys. Alright, so these you gotta trim just a smidge. We'll mark them. Because this angle makes oh. this a 90 degree cut. Oh, no, which I look at it. it I sense. was thinking the same thing at first. I'm like, wait, we need angle cuts. Then it's like, no, that angle cut makes all these 90 right. degrees now. Right, okay. So let me I'm cut these cut back. That. Actually, you know what though? Before we cut those ones, I got to straighten out the angle on the skill saw. Let's cut these angle cuts first. Right, and then I can just make an adjustment once. Did you get anything on the game camera? <sighs> nothing. Nothing came sure? in last look? night. It worked. I looked. The only pictures were stuff that I set off. Yeah. So it worked. It just nothing came out last night. Did I wonder if you have a good uh, camera vision? Or? Yeah. It was night. It was good nighttime vision. Okay. But nothing came. I, well, Tana wasn't growling or anything. No, he didn't growl last night. You want to hold this board? Let's 
fit this one first before we cut the other one. Nope, that'll be good. Broke the tip on the pencil. Don't right. forget we gotta get something, stuff like this on our scrap pile, like three of those today. Yes. Now we can zero back out the skill saw. There we go. And then both of these are marked. Freddy. 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 I just done a couple. What's that? Nope, you can nail them. Let me just get it flushed up where I want it first. They're coming from are somewhere they the one though. That makes that big nest in no, I don't think those are them. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna get the other side cut while you nail that side. Thinking about putting firewood away, keeping the house warm. All right, nail the top. All right, let me check the bottom. All right, go ahead and nail it. Get a measurement from here. 35 and a half. One, two right there for now. I'm getting hot. All right, I need another shim. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Bunch of shims, nice. All right, so what we'll do, so I'll go back over here. One on one one direction and one the other direction on top of each other because we can push them till they're tight and then you'll go boom boom. One row of two or one? Let me, 
Oh, you're gonna put that. Right I gotta. Okay. Everywhere we nail these ones, we need a shim. Oh, I didn't understand. What you're saying. All right, one, two. Because if we put them flush, it's like this, which I don't mind for the sides because you don't see it. But I want to bring them out so they're flush, if that makes sense. Find the razor knife. I think all the trim work is over here. I have one angle cut, straight cut, straight cut, angle cut, straight cut, angle. Angle. I think that's different trim mark right here. It's got a different angle on it. Straight. And then these two are straights. So we're gonna do our trim work, Gina, a little bit differently. So I'm gonna cut a piece that is 34, 35 and a quarter with 22 degree angles. Instead of going 45s, we'll go 22, 22, 22 and, and a half degree angles. And it'll make it look a little bit smoother. All right, so we'll get this set up. We're using our chop so we gotta make quite a few cuts on the trim work. It's just easier to set up the chop saw. Then we're gonna go 22, and a half right there let's check this one no it's gonna be four inches wide oh i don't know what that's for so that'll work And then we're gonna do this like so. So from the short. To, so if we go 55. Here we're gonna go short to short, like 29. Attack this one right here. Yep. Right here. Where do you want me to get it? Get it like here, here. You can go all the way down now. Just keep going. Yep. Now we need to go 
35 and a half. Alright, so now we need to go from there. 29, I think this is the same. 29, yep. Air compressor's off, that's why. I was waiting to get a hard time again for calling you Freddy. Perfect. Finger there. Where'd you leave it? Right where you left it. Oh, it fell off. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Come up just a smidge. Right there. Right there. I like it. That should do it. I'm just gonna get up there and double check. All right, let's just double check, make sure everything's set good. All right, we're good there. We're good there, I like it. I need my headphones. I'm gonna hold that square just like that. I need to know when I hit it. Nice. Oh, it looks nice starting to see the trim work on it. It starts to finish it off. I just always totally think, why do you need that? The different tools. Wow, it just cleans everything up and makes it look so nice. So you want to get the boards cut for your project? <laughs> After we paint them, Oh. Excuse me, why are you recording it so you're holding me accountable to finishing? <laughs> I am. So after you paint them, we'll, we can pocket hole screw them and then we'll screw them together. Oh, that'll work. And even have a little tiny bit of gap, that's okay. Right, I think we want the gap. Not like a big gap, but... But we want it to look rustic. You like the door openings? Yeah. Is it looking fancier? Yeah. Looking more and more like a finished building? Mm-hmm. When do you get the tin? Ah, uh, the tin we'll get for the rest of it. We have the tin here for this part. Mm -hmm. But I'll get the other tin the rest later on this week. So tomorrow we'll work on the carport. They're napping. It smells like apples. Sure and apples smell like salt. They sure do. Don't slip on the apples. I'd throw it right on top of the apples. Okay. Well then you guys better watch out. Kind of hard to throw it right on top of the apple because of the pigs. You're making a whole lot of noise for no reason. Go quick. Ah! Go. Hi, goaties. We've got some hay for you. I don't have none. Little look. They're like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, Hope, you love getting covered in hay. Don't you? Yes, you do. And you love chewing on people. Yep, you're still a chewer. They're, they're close.
and hair. Still a people person, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yep. How many eggs do you think we're going to get today? Um, how many did you get yesterday? Uh, I think 15. Nice. See if you can find any more in here. Sometimes they hide, like some of these are huge and they're just too big. I'll let that keep going for the pigs. Maybe this one's okay, let's see. Let's see, I think this one is okay, yeah. It's supposed to be the little tiny, tiny cucumbers. Look at this weird one I just found. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it looks like a donut. A pumpkin. It's beautiful. We were so hungry we forgot to show what the zucchini au gratin looked like. All I know is it was delicious, guys. Ugh. Tomorrow we're going to be starting the carport or caboter port end of our woodshed, I guess. Me and Gina's arm wrestling later on will determine who gets the park in the new carport. <laughs> ah, I was reading a quote today and I really love this one. We don't need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. J.K. Rawlings. That's so true. We already carry it. We just got to believe in ourselves and believe we can and we can do it. I love reading quotes from other people that have gone above and beyond because everybody is normal. I'm normal, they're normal, you're normal. We just all can do extraordinary things and believing in ourselves helps us do that. That's all we need to do. So that's why I love reading quotes by famous people is what were they thinking? What was their thought process? What did they fix on to know that they can get to the next level? Because it doesn't matter where you are, it's easy to get knocked back down. And I know for me, every day I gotta focus and focus my attention on that one thing. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video.